Can y'all hear that? That's nature. Listen for a minute. Hope the camera's picking it up. Because I think it's time for reality check. The new um, word on the street about what's ha what could have happened to Summer by the PIs who've been on this for a minute. After approximately one year, they've decided it might have been an animal attack. Sheriff's office seems open to the idea too. I don't believe in conspiracy theories. I don't. But damn, it's almost like y'all are trying to make it look like that. You can't tell me between PIs, police, after almost a year, are agreeing it could have possibly been an animal attack. I call bullshit. Anyway, you can't tell me that bullshit was an animal attack. Number one. Ain't no wild animals coming around the house that's got as many animals, dogs as they do. You think, ah, oh, bears eat scared of dogs. Bears don't like them in large numbers. I'll tell you that. A pack of dogs can kill a bear. Bears aren't gonna, you know, be around humans and um, dogs and everything else. And you know what? They probably eat a dog before they eat a kid. I think for sure. I, you know, and it's crazy. I, I, I gotta feel like it's been searched well enough to where a dog would have picked up a scent of remains or decomposition or something in the area if that was the truth. And plus, Summer was supposed to have been in the house. How all of a sudden do you think it's an animal attack? Why, when the mother tells you she was gone two minutes and it was an animal attack, or she was gone two minutes and Summer just disappeared, and she was supposed to have been in the basement, would you think it was an animal attack? So you don't believe the mother, number one. I feel you on that, we don't either. But why would you go to animal attack? Is there evidence of an animal attack? I feel like there was. We'd have heard about it. I feel like they'd have brought it out to get people off Don and Candace's ass. So I don't think you have evidence of an animal attack. So why would you go there? And if people always talk conspiracy theories about this case, that would be a huge coincidence to believe, for us to believe, that private eyes think it's an animal attack, and that law enforcement thinks it's an animal attack. Bullshit. No. They both do after a year? Ain't that the wildest thing? And surely the Sheriff's Department, if they had evidence of an animal attack, would have told us by now. Right? You wouldn't hide that. There wouldn't be an investigation to do. If it was an animal attack, you would assume the animal got taken somehow. And that was it. You could clear the parents. We'd already be moved on if there was evidence of an animal attack. So apparently there's not. But both of you are saying that? That makes me think the private eyes are definitely in with the police. And I thought most of the time those relationships were kind of rocky because I always felt like police give um, private eyes the cold shoulder in most places, you know. And all of a sudden you're telling me Ronnie and uh, the detectives are like, yeah, man, I'm all done. Now I know uh, we're going off the word of who knows who, but I keep hearing this over and over and over and over. So it should be addressed. That's bullshit. If law enforcement and private eyes think it's an animal attack, then damn it, I'm, I'm going to say that's a conspiracy.
don't go on walks around here or runs because I'm scared of the bears and snakes and even the coyotes.